Welcome. You are listening to Jobs in Pods, where real employers advertise their jobs and tell you how to get them. Are you motivated to get in on the ground floor of a top startup while representing a best-in-class product that you can personally get behind? Based in San Francisco, California, Lever is looking for a smart, competitive individual who possesses the skill set and personality to launch a sales career. As a sales development representative, SDR at Lever, you will develop your sales skills to speak with executives from thousands of companies to learn about their internal recruiting process in order to qualify leads for our account executives and contribute to a high-performing sales operation machine. Lever solves the number one challenge of every CEO, hiring. Recruiting is a hot market, and the new generation of applicant tracking systems like Lever are in high demand. Joining me to discuss this opportunity is Michael Gallagher, sales recruiter at Lever. Michael, welcome to Jobs and Pods. I know Lever is a fast-growing startup. Tell us about the company. Yeah, thank you for having me, Peter. Um, So yeah, Lever was founded just over four years ago. Uh, It was co-founded by our CEO, Sarah Nam, uh, along with Nate Smith, who is now our Chief Technology Officer, and then Randall Trong, who is our Chief Product Officer. Um, Their backgrounds are incredible. Uh, They were all at Google at some point together. And Sarah, in particular, has an interesting background. Her first job out of college was uh, speech writing for Marissa Meyer uh, before going on to the Google Chrome team and helping launch uh, Google Chrome internationally as a product marketing manager. I think one of Lever's really true strengths is the the talent bar we have created here. Uh, we've managed to attract some some really class people from you know LinkedIn. Uh, our CMO Leela Shunavasan is incredible, uh, all the way down to, to our more entry level positions. Um, Lever itself was built on design thinking. Um, you know any tools features we launch, we do so on the research from uh, our client base, from the community we work in. How many employees does Lever currently have? The team here itself right now is 90 employees strong. Uh, we're all based in San Francisco, which is quite remarkable considering uh, a lot of our business is international. We, we have clients in South America, uh, New Zealand, Australia, Europe, of course. Uh, and some of those clients include uh, P- KPMG New Zealand, Yelp, Eventbrite, Netflix, Change.org. So uh, in, in a short amount of time, we, we've done an incredible job of, of growing our, our client base. Michael, let's talk about the specific background and qualifications you're looking for in a sales development representative at Lever? Yeah, that's a great question. I really get this a lot. Um, And the answer is there's no specific skill set or background for a successful salesperson. Uh, I found in my short time recruiting that people come in all shapes and backgrounds. I guess to be more Lever specific, we, we do look for a little bit of experience when it comes to sales. Because we are small, we, we don't have the same training programs as a Salesforce or LinkedIn. So ideally, we do look for a candidate who understands a sales cycle, whether that be through internships in college or even a full-time role, role after college. Uh, and then finally, you know, one thing I do look for, which is important to Lever, is having this builder mindset. Because we're a startup, uh, we need people who are adaptable, who want to come in here and, and make an impact, and very much take pride in their role. Um, you know, helping others and, and ultimately hitting their goals. As you said, Lever is based in beautiful San Francisco, California. So I assume potential candidates need to live in the Bay Area. Is that correct? Yeah, ideally, yes. Uh, just from a timing point of view, we're, we're looking to grow the team uh, pretty rapidly. Um, that being said, if there's a candidate who's already looking to move to the Bay Area, uh, I'm more than open to having a conversation with them. Who will your new SDR report to? Yeah, so as of right now, uh, our uh, SDR team reports to our CFO, Eileen Trainer, who has been really instrumental in building out our SDR strategy for 2017 and even 2018. Uh, Eileen partners with Chana Heng, who is our unofficial official SDR trainer. Uh, Chana, is back, her background is in Salesforce operations, um, but she comes from us, uh, to us from Yesware and HubSpot. Uh, and with that background, she really understands systems and also how to get the best out of our SDRs, uh, especially when it comes to outreaching to prospects. The job description on your career site is really quite unique, detailing a progression of one month, three months, six months, and a year with Lever. Can you briefly outline the growth opportunities this position offers? 
Uh, absolutely. And and just to touch on that, uh, at Lever, we don't believe in job descriptions. Uh, we do instead call them impact descriptions. Um, you'll find that most um, you know job postings do the exact opposite of what you want them to do in terms of they turn away talent. They outline certain criteria that um, you know, ninety percent of people who actually may be qualified you know, think they're not uh, ready for. So we like to see the potential in someone at Lever, uh, and that very much carries through into um, the career pathing we have set up here. So uh, on our job uh, impact descriptions, you'll see that uh, we've laid out, like you said, a very clear path in your first year, and we want people to understand that once they you know hit these goals, hits these benchmarks, that their career can be in their own hands. Uh, ideally, for an SDR, we'll, we'll see them move into a closing account executive position. Um, but that being said, there will also be opportunity within the SDR team, whether it's team lead, management. And when you join a startup, you, you never know where, where you'll be in a year or two from now. So I always like to leave a little bit of, of vagueness, but ideally, this role will, will go down into uh, continue into a sales path. That's really interesting. Following up on that, Michael, uh, what do you personally like best about working for Lever? Yeah, well, my, my, my reason is, is, I have two reasons. I have one that's slightly se- selfish. Uh, being a recruiter and getting to work on recruiting software every day um, is a dream job. I, you know, I love testing our new products and, and our features. Uh, I love making recommendations and seeing them implemented. Uh, on a more broad view, um, I love the responsibility that I'm given. Uh, you know, our philosophy here is very much about owning your job, um, you know, taking you, your role and making sure that you're getting your job done. Uh, this is not a place where people are micromanaged. My boss is there for support, uh, but very much I have that responsibility. And I, I love that. I, I revel in that. And I think that's something that's uh, not unique to Lever, but it's something that um, I'm very proud of that we, we can do here. And we see that in our in our hires. Being treated like a grown-up. What a concept. Uh, so, so what benefits and perks does the company offer, Michael? Yeah. Well, being Silicon Valley, uh, we do have a quite a big a range of, of benefits and perks. So uh, we do competitive salary, uh, of course, and then all the way down, we do healthcare benefits. Um, we do up to $100 per month for gym reimbursement because you got to stay fit in, in California. We do $100 uh, uh, when you first start just for new headphones. Because we work in a, an open space, we want people to feel that they're comfortable and, and kind of block out that noise sometimes. We also do uh, a monthly transport reimbursement. We get catered lunches every day, uh, which is definitely one of my favorite perks, and it balances out nicely with the gym membership. And then uh, we do unlimited vacation policy, which is uh, some companies it can be a slightly dirty word, but for us, we're very much about the work-life balance. Once again, the vacation policy treating their employees like grown-ups. And I really love this headphone perk. I had not heard that one before, but it makes so much sense when you're working in an open space. Absolutely, yeah. I uh, I invested in my uh, Bose noise canceling headphones, and uh, yeah, they're even great for the plane. So highly recommend. Well, this has really been a fun conversation, and it sounds like Lever is very much a unique place to work. Just one more question for you, Michael. I assume the those applying for this position will be using your product. And we'll find it far more friendly and much more engaging than uh, many of your competitors' applicant tracking systems. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, part of the reason why I'm at Lever is because I, I loved using the product so much in my last company. Uh, how I like to describe it is Lever is human on the front end, but automated on the back end. And um, so it takes uh, all that kind of manual labor out of your, your day-to-day as a recruiter or even as a hiring manager, as an interviewer. Uh, and it gives you that time back to focus on things that are really important instead of that administrative work. So, um, you know, I love our integrations with LinkedIn and, and Google. And um, like I said, part of the reason I'm working here is, is the product. We've been speaking with Michael Gallagher, sales recruiter at Lever. Visit Michael's Jobcast page on jobsandpods.com for resource links and to apply for the sales development representative SDR at Lever. Also, visit jobs.lever.co to see all of the current openings and learn more about Lever on a mission to help companies fundamentally improve the way they hire. And thank you for tuning in to Jobs and Pods.